Hey, what's up, YouTube? Wanted to do another video on my uh, Coleman golf cart, uh, the next project, and uh, we wanted to, went with uh, wheel spacers. So two inch wheel spacers we're gonna do. Um, it's gonna give the cart a better stance, uh, handle it a little bit better, and um, look a little bit better too. So hopefully, we'll uh, guide you through what I went, uh, what I bought, where I got it. I'll post on the thing um, on Amazon, and from what I could review. Uh, these are actually uh, for a Yamaha cart, so I guess it's got the same dimensions. So here's the number. Um, this is what I ordered from. I'll, like I said, got them from Amazon. Link, two inch. They seem to be nice, um, packed well. Uh, here's the uh, model number, and it was on the box as well. And here's two, they're two inch, so, seem to be solid aluminum. There's the brand. Um, it was like 89 bucks for four of them. So I'm going to do front and rear, uh, same dimensions. These are like hub centric style. So these are going to bolt to the golf cart. And then uh, right here, these are the new lug nuts for the wheels. So, you know, from all I can review, and there's got a lot of pluses. Um, the, I guess the negative, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some wear since that's pushing out maybe on these. Uh, maybe a little bit of the cement suspension. Um, but from what we can tell and what I've, everything I've reviewed that people, I mean, a ton of people do that on these carts and, uh, they said, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's, this thing isn't ramping anything. It's not jumping anything off road. It's, it's a golf cart that's just lifted. I might go in the grass. That's about it. But, uh, we'll just get it started. I'll kind of show you how easy it is and start from there. All right. Just show how you jacked it up. Um, just in the front. And for safety reasons, um, always, you know, I put some wheel chocks behind the wheels and also put jack stands underneath the cart just for, you know, extra safety. Thing doesn't drop down on it. And then um, here's the look of, I mean, here's the, it's about where the wheels are now without spacers. And then uh, I'll do a follow up when everything's done and see the difference here. There you go. This is what it looks like when it's on. It bolts right in the inside, all four bolts, and then you use these for the outside. All right, all done. Here's the final project. Here we go. All done with the two inch spacers. Out a little bit in the front um, from the rear, but that's kind of how it is uh, from the factory too. The front's a little bit wider, so with a two inch. I don't know if you'd probably change, maybe put one inch spacers on the front, but uh, looks pretty good. The front uh, wheels are just a little outside of the fenders. And then the rear wheels are about even, maybe tucked in just a little bit. So it has a good look. Um, just when I drove it, it's actually drove, it drives a little smoother than before, which is, uh, you know good i guess it t it's great handling in the turns and stuff the passengers not moved around a lot um the only thing i would suggest it was a pretty easy job i would just suggest um having somebody help you because it's uh just pushing on the brake so when you really torque those uh spacers down um make sure you know they're pretty torqued pretty high and um somebody's pushing on the brake so you know the wheels don't move while you're doing it especially on the front you know because you'll have a parking brake on but you'll still want to use the brakes but let me know what you think. Um, would you go with two inch, maybe one inch? Um, but definitely a more aggressive look. Um, looks a lot, makes the cart look bigger and overall handling was good, so. Hey, what's up guys? Hope you liked the video um, and the content. Uh, I don't see a lot of videos of the Coleman cart on YouTube, so I'll sh be sure to post all the steps it took and everything I learned from researching what I could find and make it a little easier for you guys to modify yours and you know change it up. Um, I'm also, I mounted an Exo gear speaker. I'm going to uh, put a video for that as well. The steps I took, what I bought, everything online to make it an easy job. Um, so I hope you guys like it and uh, check back. Take care. See ya.